Well, good afternoon everybody, how y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. Hey, I've had a couple questions about the new lift. Um, people wanted to see what it looks like under there. So I'm gonna show you that. I thought, well, while I've got the truck up on the lift, and this is a 2019 Tacoma, or Tundra rather, uh, double cab SR5. Um, for those of you that don't know, I had a 3-1 ready lift installed um, to kind of level it out and give me some lift which I've accomplished. So now I want to uh, I want to go underneath here, show you guys uh, what exactly that is, what it looks like. And then while I've got the truck up, I'm going to go ahead and, and check the uh, tightness of the bolts on the TRD exhaust that I put on. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. We're going to start with the exhaust. That takes about two seconds, so maybe a hair more. But let me get you under there so you can see, hopefully, everything. I think that should be pretty good. And I've already got the tools out, so we're going to climb underneath here and take a look. Uh, there's just a few bolts here, here, and uh, back here in the back. And that's really it. So let me go ahead. I can't remember what size these were. I'm thinking... Let's see, what do we have? This is a 13 millimeter. That's wrong. Step up to a 14. And it doesn't feel right either. Alright, let's go to uh, who are we up to now? 16. No, that's too big. Well, the problem is. Uh, these sockets don't fit in there, so I must have used a deep well, and I believe it's a 13 or 14. So let me go grab a deep well, and uh, we'll try that. Actually, I have a 13 right here. No, so it must be a 14. Let me go grab a 14 millimeter. Okay, got a 14 millimeter, and that's exactly what it is. Again. Uh, these are a little bit thinner wall, so they fit in there, whereas the, the other sockets I have don't. It's too thick of a wall. So let's just uh, make sure that these are still snug. That one is pretty darn tight. Put that up here. Pretty tight, gave just a little bit, but I wouldn't say it was loose. Put that here. that one gave just a hair. Now let's go back here and check the back one. And I can't imagine this will be really much different. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, a little bit. Those feel pretty good. And I don't think we have any more bolts uh, to deal with. So that's good. Everything looks good. Uh, I'm going to pull you guys off the tripod and we'll take a look at the uh, hangers just to make sure they're all still in place and then we'll take a look at this lift and show you guys the components of that. So let me get you off the tripod. All right, got everything uh, put together here on the camera side. Let's take a look. We're gonna start in the rear. And this again is a block and spacer lift. And you guys can see right here are the spacers. It is a, wow, that's a, uh, it's amazing to me how flimsy some of the cabling and stuff is. Look at that, that's like thread. But anyway, uh, you can see right here is the spacer underneath the leaf springs. Um, right here. It is a one inch. And we'll go over, take a look at the other side, make sure it's there. <laughs> I think I'd have noticed by now, right? Again, another little flimsy line. Um, right here, we have the one inch block. And that, of course, is underneath the leaf spring. Uh, just to kind of bump it up. They did have to go with uh, new bracketry here. Um, it's kind of U-shaped bracket here uh, because of the extra spread, if you will, between the bottom of it and the bolts. 
These are the bolts that uh, you're going to take it back in to have them to make sure are torqued down properly. Um, pretty simple, they can lay underneath the truck and do that. Now, let's go up to the front and we got to lower it a bit uh, to be able to see the spacers, so let me do that. Give you guys an up close view while I bring it down a little bit. I think that's pretty good. Let's grab our trouble light so you guys can actually see. Okay. Try to lay the light up here so you guys, well, that's pretty good. Um, the spacer, of course, is right here. You guys can see this smooth black part right there on the, the hook of the light there. That, of course, is the spacer. Uh, that's what was put in uh, to make sure, or rather, to get the uh, three inches in the front. This is a 3-1. So that raised the front of the truck up three inches, which, of course, gives us this cavernous gap uh, between the front tire and the fender. Um, looks good to me for what I know about it. Uh, again, it's just a spacer in there to, uh, to bump up the truck, if you will. Uh, and that's about it. That's really all there is uh, as far as a block and spacer uh, lift goes. Um, not too difficult, I think. If you had the right tools and a little bit of know-how, you probably could do it yourself. Uh, I've never done one myself. This was done by a shop, uh, Truck Tex, by the way, in uh, Texas. Uh, and they did a great job. Um, we're still looking at doing the spacers on the truck. I haven't done that yet. The spacers, the wheel spacers, um, to give this thing a little bit of poke out, if you will. If you look straight down the truck there, um, they might stick out just a hair, but hardly at all, really. And I do want to bring out the wheels more. Still undecided as to whether or not um, I'll change out the tires. What's on it right now, I've mentioned before, is a 275-55R20. Um, I can go with a bigger tire, of course, especially with the lift, and, and especially if I have the spacers on it. Uh, it should be okay. One thing that somebody mentioned about the spacers, if I bring the tire out, is it going to hit in the front? And that's a great question. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I might need to remove this little guard here, uh, maybe. And to me, that's not a big deal. If I have to remove that, I'm okay with that. But I don't think there's going to be a problem. I think there's plenty of room there. I mean, we have probably at least a couple inches there now, so no big deal. One other thing I'll mention before we sign off here are the wheels. These are a black painted, uh, I don't know what they're called. They came with the uh, TSS package on the truck. So I'm not exactly sure who the manufacturer of them is, but I like the wheels. I was actually thinking of doing something here with the center cap T part, if you will, or whatever this is supposed to be. Um, maybe painting this red or something, I don't know. I think that would look pretty cool, or maybe, maybe even uh, gray, I don't know, to match the truck. I might do that. I haven't decided yet, uh, but that could be coming, we'll see. And uh, that's, uh, that's it, that's the wrap. We've checked the... Uh, the torque on the exhaust, everything seems to be okay. A little bit of play, but I wouldn't say anything really needed to be done at all. Uh, you can see what the lift looks like. Uh, pretty simple again, something you could probably do yourself if you had the right tools and a little bit of know-how. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. A uh, few people have asked about that, so I wanted to get on here and, uh, and show you guys um, exactly what is on the truck right now as far as the lift goes, let you see what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.